The bullet in the wood problem. What force acts on a 20 gram bullet traveling initially at 300 meters per second into a plank of wood to a depth of 10 centimeters? Well, I'm going to show you two different approaches. Firstly, let's look at the Suvat's uh, uh, equations and see what we know. So, we know the bullet enters the wood at a depth of 10 centimeters, which is 0 0.1 meters. The initial velocity is 300 meters per second. The final velocity, well, that's zero. We don't know the acceleration and we don't know the time. But one approach is we could use the Suvat's equations or one of the Suvat equations to work out the acceleration. We know the mass, so we can apply Newton's second law, F equals ma. So to find the acceleration, well, we're going to use v squared equals u squared plus 2as. And we're going to rearrange for a, which gives us v squared minus u squared divided by 2s equals a. Let's put the numbers in. So we've got 0 squared minus 300 squared divided by 2 times 0 0.1. And we find that our acceleration is minus 450,000 meters per second per second. OK, so we're going to use F equals MA. Problem is our mass is 20 grams. We need to convert that into kilograms. So we need to divide that by 1,000, which gives us 0 0.02 kilograms. Put it all into F equals MA. And we get 0 0.02 times by minus 450,000, and we get a force of minus 9,000 newtons. Okay, let's look at a, another approach. So we're going to use the idea that half mv squared, the kinetic energy to begin with, that's going to be equal to the work done against the bullet, uh, which is the force times the displacement times cos uh, theta. And that angle there, well, the angle between the two vectors, force and displacement, is 180 degrees because the bullet is traveling in one direction, but the force is acting in the opposite direction, which is 180 degrees, and cos of 180 is minus 1. So what's the kinetic energy of the bullet to begin with? Well, it's a half times its mass, which is 0 0.02, times by 300 squared, which is 900 joules. And finally, we know 900 is equal to the force times the displacement times cos 180. So 900 equals the force times 0 0.1, because that's the depth that the bullet goes into, times by minus 1, because of the angles between the force vector and the displacement vector. Rearrange everything, and we get 900 divided by 0 0.1 times minus 1 is equal to the force, which is minus 9,000 newtons. Just the same as before, just a different method. Okay, guys, hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.